not to draw attention here.
soon as guide me. Show me. This crate is marked for Odin. Is it an offering? Sunan.
sacrifice. Give me the strength to give to you. What is all this? My life. The fruit of my work. All gathered here. And now, I lack the strength to throw it off this cliff. You carried everything up here, only to throw it all down. The horse did most of it. It is the only way I can send my belongings into the next world. My children will not bury it with me. They say they do not want it. But I know they will sell it all once my light burns out. Will you lend me your strength? Throw everything over the cliff. The farther you throw, the better their chance of reaching the next world. Is that how it works? Why is everything packed in straw? I did not want anything to break. That contains a bow given to me by Hafton the Black, after I put an arrow on the King Sigtube's left arm. That sounds like quite the shot. That contains a drinking horn I received from King Haftan for capturing his bride, Ranghild. Huh. That contains a silver harpoon head I received from King Harold for pulling Haftan's frozen body out of the ice. They are a generous family. a few things the gods will get the idea thank you for your help you did not have to do this kind and courageous people live the best lives but it can be a difficult path to keep I have tried to live well it is enough that the gods know that even if the name Harek Gand is forgotten in Midgard so what will you do now that this task is done done that was to announce my arrival. Now I leave this world. Enjoy your life. To Asgard! What? Wait! Thank you! Thor's hammer. That was a shock.
Ragnar the Ugly was an excellent sailor who could pilot a longship entirely on his own. This is why King Sigvaldi kept him around. In all other matters, Unar was a cruel, anxious, and humorless man. He was one of the most unlikable people I have ever known. One year, I recall we had invited some curls from the Ingling clan to dine with us. As we was... ...came to find that we had none left. It so happened that the ale had run out just before reaching Unar's hall. This raised in him a word storm, and he accused Sigvaldi of treachery. Every man in the longhouse jeered at Unar for raising such a fuss. This made Unar angrier than before, and he stormed out. A short time later, we heard him yelling through the door of the hall. I set this scorn wall upon the men of England for their dishonor! We looked outside and saw that Unar had severed one of the heads of the England's horses and stuck it upon a hazel branch. When he saw us gathering at the door, the England carls among us, Unar panicked and ran. He was not seen for many months. What are you doing? Be careful, or be cursed! What is this menace you shout about? Is it some creature you hunt? I pray is the most cunning of beasts. Capable of vile deeds beyond the ability of any common animal. You are hunting someone, then? A warlock. One who once called himself a man, but has since befouled his hoor. His whole being with twisted Seder magic. This has the feel of something more personal. The evil spider who squats in yonder hut poisoned my own sister. For that alone, it deserves to die. But maybe you would be moved to help by the bounty King Harald has offered for any warlock killed. Prophet can persuade where passion fails. I will weigh this against the effort. The warlock makes its lair down this road to the left. Keep an eye out. Come to face me, finally? Or will you continue to harass me from afar? Are you the warlock who laid a curse on this land? There was a curse here long before I came along. A curse of ignorance that infects all of Midgard. So you're not using your magic against this land and its people? I try to use my knowledge to help others. I am only a threat to those who fear the unknown, of which there are many. As a hunter who believes you poisoned his sister. I tried to save her. I made a mixture that would have burned away her illness, but he chose to drench her in pig's blood. If there is any blame here, it lies on him and his ignorant kin. He killed his sister. Do not listen. He will poison our thoughts. You have no thoughts to poison. Die, monster! To hell with you! By the gods, she must die! She blood! One day this land will be cleansed of these twisted deceivers. I struck first, so I will claim the bounty. 
You may take what you wish from its carcass. Creature, show me.
asked about. Hear a story. You may not know Let's this, have a song. but there are... I know a crazed man about my age called Rokur. We are taken to calling Rokur the Rodent for his habit of collecting axes. For 20 years he collected axes of all make and size. He had never seen a day of battle, but he swore to Thor that he would. In his 31st year, after drinking too much ale, Rokur seduced another man's wife. That man called a Holmgang against Rokur. Rokur accepted the Holmgang, and on the agreed upon day, he laid out 12 of his axes and asked, Which of these will I use to slay you? Will it be bone splitter? He said, My bearded blade inscribed with Sather runes, affixed to a handle of English oak? Or blood fountain? He continued, My day axe which swings through the air on two hands with the speed of an arrow's flight. Or might it be Twin Wolf Wounder? Roker growled, growing even more bold. A fierce pair of throwing axes. At that moment, the man who had challenged Roker brought a large stone down upon his head. Roker died instantly, and his axes were given away as gifts. <laughs> Save it for later. Hey now, hey. how curious.
widely and has traveled far will learn the scope of mankind's nature and discover common sense. Is anyone home? This is not a natural quiet. It's as if a curse has befallen this place. Ormir and Ymir. Wonder where they've gone.
But your death will not be in vain. He went to face them. Y'all, he has been taken by bandits! Come quickly! A Y'all, taken by bandits! If you are as brave as you appear, you will come! You will be well rewarded! Follow me! Hurry, or they will kill him! Kill him? Do they not want a ransom? Just hurry! We are near! Go, go on, they are up ahead. Oh, you lead. Fine, follow me. Won't last long. Kyotve has no power here. gamble has cost them their lives. They threatened to kill me if I did not help. So to save your life, you led others to their death. Our village was burned by Kjotve the Cruel. We had to flee to the forest. Those who survived grew mean and desperate. Olaf, one of the men you killed, said we had to fight for our land. But he only wanted to kill for silver. There was no need for this fight. Kjotve is dead by my hand. I have lifted his boot from your neck. Olaf, you lifeless fool! You almost murdered our rescuer! Your second mistake was choosing me as your prey. That was not a mistake. Y you looked like a good fighter. I, I was hoping you would kill or weaken Olaf so I could escape. You are young and still foolish, so I will spare you your life. But cross me again, or harm anyone I cherish, and you will join your friends in Helheimer's foul forests. Y you will never see me again. Uh, I will be a white rabbit in the snow. Survey the area, Zulu.
Spread your wings, Sunan. showed me this passage. I was so excited. I won every game of hide and fetch after that. Climbing up here made me feel as high as a raven. <laughs> Mother used to sing me to sleep by this hearth. Her voice made me feel safe. I have not felt safe since then. Not really. I spilled ink on this throne. The stain is still there, in the furs, after all these years. Oh, father was furious. Larger when I was young. A lifetime ago, it seems. Thank <laughs> you. 
Go. Sudan. Fertile shores. Maybe you must take care of your own sake of fruit. Nay, but I'm not making you flame. I did not expect to find anyone on this island. And why not? This is England, home to a nation of Saxons and Danes. Our shores are open for trade. England? That is not what I expected. Many from Norway find the trip dizzying, but fortunately you have me to guide you. I know the land better than my own son. Are you all right? My son, nesting with the pigs north of Hadrian's Wall? Who knows what schemes they're hatching, or the sort of people they might send to spy on me? You said something about a tour? Of course, of course, a tour. Follow me. This is the city of London. First built by the Romans during ancient times. We have not seen builders like that since. I guess they had to work with what they had. for their bluebirds. Hmm. Here is Jorvik, the Dane city of trade. Keep this between us, but King Alfred has a plan for Jorvik. I see. This is Hadrian's Wall, our last line of defense against the barbarous Picts. It is a line of sorts. At the end of our tour is Winchester, the heart of Wessex, where... Where is King Alfred? Those honorless Picts, they have taken the king! We must seek them north of Hadrian's Wall! Where are you, my king? I'm sure he is somewhere. Do not worry, my king! I am coming!
king. What happened? Why won't you speak? Who in hell's name are you? Why are you going through my things? Force balls you found it. Why did you take it back? You set him off again, right, huh? The king won't speak to me. You cut out his tongue. He has no tongue. Because you cut it out. You're his son? Do not feed this fantasy. His wits wither and become those of a babe. I took him here to ease his madness, but it grows worse. I try using reason or playing along, but he hears only what he wants to hear. Only what he wants to hear. I have an idea that could help, if you let me. Old man, your king is worn out from his ordeal. I can hear him speak very softly. He is praising you. He wants to thank... He sing. He wants to thank He sing for his loyalty to the crown. What else does he say? The Picts, terrified at word of your approach, will pledge themselves to the crown if you spare their lives. They will? And they agree to pay a daily tribute of food and other goods in exchange for free passage through your lands. Oh, it is a good deal and greater news. Thank you. You may leave the king in my care now. This will only lead to further delusion. You will know at least that he eats every day. And maybe someday the fog will lift. Forgive my ill will. I knew this would be a difficult end, but sometimes the weight bears down heavily. There's courage and honor in what you do, and the gods know it. Good luck to you. Looks like England is united. The pigs have been...